If you're dreaming of having an organized craft space, hobby space, or home office you love to spend time in, today's episode is for you. With these budget-friendly hacks, I'm going to teach you how to turn even the smallest of spaces into the area of your dreams. Let's start with a quick win. We're going to head over to the Dollar Tree Kids section and pick up two of these dollhouse chairs. I love projects like this one that add decor on a shoestring budget, and they're also functional. So we're going to start by sanding these two chairs just to get that glassy finish off. And now I'm taking two of these wooden Jenga blocks, also found in the kids' toy section at Dollar Tree. I'm gluing them onto the chairs just at the edge here, and I'm using E6000 for a permanent bond and then a glue gun for a quick bond. Now I'm picking up a white top coat of spray paint and we're just going to cover that purple finish first and then we're going to go over it with gold. And now guess what we have? This is a great telephone stand or charger and it's going to look ultra adorable in your home office or your craft space. I'm Shannon and this is Skip to My Life where I help you live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget. I did a little survey today to ask you all what is your number one craft room slash home office dilemma or frustration and you said general clutter. So I want to let you know that I'm right there with you. Everything here has served a purpose but I'm ready to go a little bit less color, brightness, rainbow color type thing and a little bit more just very minimal white and let these beautiful roses pop. I've always loved these. You guys have commented that you love them and kind of just subtract some of the color in here and see if I like it. So wish me luck. And one of the main things that I realized that I need is a spot for items that I don't have time to deal with right away. So especially paper clutter, that I know I need to file it or whatever the case may be and I will have a regular time to do that but I just am not a big believer in being so rigid with yourself that you have to maintain this meticulous um, system. If you or someone you love has lost a dog this is a beautiful book. A friend of ours gave us this book when we lost Franklin and I have not talked about that. It's been a year in January this was such a healing book for us and I um, actually gave one to my cousin when her she lost her dog it's I think it's kind of a children's book but I will tell you that it just made me laugh it made me cry that's just a little quick commercial I will link this so if you want to order it you can even if your space is just one room or a corner of a room it needs to have comfort and function or you will start to avoid it I had been using a large stool in this area with an elevated table and it just was no longer serving me. So I went ahead and ordered this swivel chair that has an ergonomic back. It's from Wayfair and this is not sponsored and I'm giving you my honest opinion. It was so easy to put together and a great investment, not only in my comfort, but just in my back. It feels so great on my back. through the course of our life together my husband has always made sure that I had a place set apart for creating sometimes it was literally a walk-in closet or a corner of our laundry room but at this point I'm fortunate enough to have a whole bedroom to fashion however I need it for this business and also to create in but it's the end of an era. Some of you may have followed me for a long time and you know the story of my mom's old dining table that I had turned into my craft table. It just was no longer serving me. My back was starting to hurt when I was using it. I ordered this table from Wayfair and my husband helped me put it together. I'm really happy with it. My only critique is that it does have this seam down the middle for packaging purposes. So I decided to cover it with some gold wrapping paper. And one of my goals in this room was to add a little bit more gold as well. I have to say I absolutely love it. If you're in the market for a chair and a table, I highly recommend these. It has two preset options so that you can put this table where you like it for your height and then to raise or lower it, you just push one button and it goes up very easily. Now I can raise and lower the table as I need it for whatever function I'm doing. But no matter where you're working and what space you have in your house, 
take some time and make a little effort to make sure it's comfortable because if you don't have a comfortable spot that supports your back, you will start to dread working there. So even if you're not looking for a table and chairs like the one I have, add an extra pillow, add an extra footrest, something to make that spot really comfy and cozy for you. I have been using these tried and true bookshelves from Walmart for a while now and I love the configuration, but I was not loving the visual clutter. So I decided to make better use, especially of this one side, by going shopping at my local thrift store. This time my goal was to use natural materials and not plastic, so I took the measurements of those bookshelves and I found an ideal set of hidden storage. The first was these three nesting baskets and the second was this treasure trove kind of a little basket. I just fell in love with this guy. Even though he's a bit of an ugly duckling, I hope you can see what I'm going to do with him. While I was at the thrift store, I found these beautiful brand new frames. And one of my goals this year is to add more heirloom type items to my decor. So they're going to work really well in this space. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big welcome. Several years ago, my husband and I drastically downsized after our kids were grown and flown. And I'd love to show you all the insider tips and tricks to make the very most of your downsized and decluttered space. For about $10, I was able to purchase these four pieces that are gonna work so well for hidden storage. Here's an insider decorator hack. Whenever you have storage pieces, pull them to the front of the shelf you're using. This way you not only can hide some things behind them, but it just is a lot more visual appealing to have those things coming forward. This treasure chest was transformed to hold all my electronics and cords that were driving me absolutely crazy with all that visual clutter. These baskets are the perfect size to hold projects I'm working on, my Cricut labeler, as well as my hot glue gun. And now I even have extra space on these shelves for things that I don't even know where I'm going to put yet. Make the most of your vertical space, whether it's a counter or a bookshelf, by using some three ring binders to hold all kinds of items. You can use these for decorative and craft paper, manuals, instructions, and I'm sure you all have tons of other ideas you're going to share with me in the comment section below. I had an extra little cubby spot in the bookshelf, and so I decided to push Bella's dog bed and entice her with some treats to see if she would like it. Now, if you know dachshunds, you know they love to burrow in tiny spaces, so I'm going to wait and see if she takes to this naturally. I think she might really like it. I used the gold spray paint to redo my tissue box to match the gold decor I'm now using, as well as some of these other vertical elements that I've showed you in other videos. These kinds of spaces can easily get cluttered with the supplies we really need to use on a regular basis. So we're gonna grab a couple items from Dollar Tree, this marble tray, as well as this new gold tape dispenser. Now it comes in rose gold and regular gold. I picked up just the regular gold version, as well as some crystal clear tape refills from Dollar Tree. This is super easy to use. You'll just take one of those tape refills out Take the little gold wheel from that tape stand and insert that tape in there and just use it as you normally would use it. I think that this new item from Dollar Tree really elevates a commonly used item for an office or hobby space. Since I had recovered that tired surface with Dollar Tree's marbleized contact paper, this marble tray really blends in and looks very classy with my new tape dispenser and a couple other items that I use at arm's reach. Well, getting organized can both boost productivity and create a soothing environment to work or be creative in. I've corralled all my craft items into just this one little area and I'm planning to even reduce them further when I have time to go through them all. If you're not a big fan of plastic, pick up some of these gold wire baskets as well as wire paper organizers from Dollar Tree. I just zip tied these wire paper holders together to form a tower and now I'm making the most of my vertical storage for all my paper goods. No matter how small or simple your personal space for creating or your home office is, do not neglect adding a little bit of decor even if it's just one little picture on a shelf. I'm loving this more simplified, cleaner look with just a few gold, classy touches. For 
a while now, I have been wanting to add a live plant to the space. So I found an adorable little local nursery and she was able to help me pick out the perfect plant to sit on the shelf in my office and craft area. Adding a living element to this room is gonna make it so much more inviting as well as just a little bit healthier for me. Please don't forget today, my friend, that it's not the end of your story. So do not give up. Keep putting one foot in front of the other.